It is possible to create an image carousel using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. An image carousel displays only one out of many images. These images can have various formats, JPEG with a solid background, PNG with a transparent background, and GIF that are animated. You can use multiple image carousels on a web page to create a customized product bundle for an online store. These carousels operate independently. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. First, we will program the web page using JavaScript and Bootstrap. Those that are highlighted in yellow are the codes that we are emphasizing. We will now set the background color for the web page body. Our choice for this web page is violet. We have already discussed about hex colors on a previous video. We will fill up the web page with a title and a corresponding description in the form of paragraphs. We will set the title and paragraph dimensions. Those that are highlighted with a violet color are the codes that we are emphasizing for this particular function. The title is centered while the paragraphs are justified. We have already chose a background color that is violet. So the text color for the title is bright green and the paragraph color is orange. We will draw a 2 by 1 table on the web page. 2 by 1 refers to 2 columns and one row. We have already discussed how to draw a table in a previous video. Afterwards, we will set the table dimensions. It should be centralized and then we specify a certain column width for these columns individually. We use nth child followed by a number, specifically what column, and assign a percentage of the width. So these columns aren't uniformly wide, they're deferred. Afterwards, we will insert an image on the left column of the table to represent the outer wear, which is a black robe, like a college graduate. On the right side of the right column, we will draw a carousel of images. In fact, we will divide this into a top and a bottom section for the inner clothes to be worn underneath the black robe. We set the image carousel dimensions to the width of 50% and a centralized margin. We will be adding two image carousels on the right column of the table that creates divisions. That is like polo and pants or blouse with skirt. Once we have drawn image carousels on the right column of a table, we will be declaring the number of images on the carousels. Four on top and just two below. The four images on top refer to the four choices of colors, while the two choices below refer to whom will be wearing it. A wizard boy or a witch girl? long pants, or A-line skirt. We will now be inserting the images on two different carousels. There is an icon of these products and the codes that are right beside them. As you can see here, we are using GIF images that are animated. In one instance, it's just polo and necktie. On another setting of the animated image, it has been worn with a v-neck t-shirt. This is how Hogwarts students are dressed up, wearing layered clothes, since UK is a cold country. We will now be assigning the default images in the carousels. What should be the initial appearance of these carousels? For the top, 
we select the red color as the default and then down below we assign a long pants since Harry Potter is a boy. We will now be previewing the web page. Here's the demonstration of the top and bottom image carousels. As you can see here, they move independently. And that black robe to the left is for the outer layer of clothing. At some point, we have changed the bottom carousel manually by pressing the left or right button. I hope you find this video interesting to watch as I teach you how to create an image carousel.